Hey guys, so welcome back to Project Ascension. I want to thank all 10 of you that have subscribed recently and all however many of you are watching videos from Ascension. It's really nice to know that people are watching and people like my videos, so thank you for that. If you want to help me make better videos, you can support my Patreon down below and also my other channels are down below or in the cards or at the end on annotations or whatever. But today I'm going to be going over my hybrid build again. So I'm essentially halfway through. I'm level 29 and because of dual wield, I am have to do this is sort of halfway, because usually the next level will be halfway. So I'm not tons of gold, I've not got a ton of great gifts, I've got that, i just got that. Not great, I've got a few, that's freaking awesome. Uh, that's alright, I've got a few decent enchants. These two were bought, as my other weapons are doing like 10 DPS. And that quest, uh, dungeon, bought, like, you can buy stuff, it's not so bad. But today, I'm going to be going over my hybrid build, as since I released the pr previous video, my build has slightly changed. Let me just turn down that music. So, the build has slightly changed. So, let's begin! So, if you remember the hybrid build, you will remember correctly that my hybrid build looked slightly different to this. I've gone for a bear because the tanky kind of helps with leveling, so I recommend picking up a bear, but a cat were any pet works, but a bear is just slightly helpful. So for my bear talents, I've gone for charge, which is just nice to have. I've gone for one increased stamina and then one increased natural armor because I'm going to go for boar speed next. I think go spiked collar one and then maybe drop another one in one of these if I can. But it's just how it how it comes really. My stats are 11, 14, 25, 8, and 5. So that's what my stats look like. So obviously these will be adjusted accordingly per level and whatever. I've currently got 22. Let me just make sure everything is on. So I currently have 282 attack power which is pretty good let me just go over my talents so beast mastery i'm have three in endurance training and one in unleashed fury i'm not sure whether that actually works hence the reason why it's just one but i'm going to spend some more in that when i'm higher up and work my way down really it's all about beast or wrath really and then not really use anything else marksman i don't think i'm any in marksman or maybe one no nothing survival no nothing and then i think the next one's retribution I'll just put one in. Yep. Improved blessing of might. Assassination. I have four in malice. Maxed out vigor because it uses energy and I'm using energy as my main resource. I've also got ruthlessness as it gives makes my rogue finishing moves have a 20% chance to add a combo point, which is quite helpful in a way that you can build up to full, then hit eviscerate or the other ones and you get one back. So you can kind of keep it going if you're lucky without having to spend any more energy. Nothing else yet. Combat. I think I'm just one maybe. Yeah. So my dual wields getting more damage and just reduce of sinister strikes energy i will eventually have that up and i will fix the rest of them like that will get a little bit more in uh, that won't that won't that won't it will fill up pretty fast if i got in here i don't know no not yet enhancement ghost wolf as i said last time it's just helpful arms i think i am in arms for rend yeah maxed out rend and that's it from memory let me just have a proper look through another good one is fury and it's this one increases your attack power by one for every 108 armor value you have that's really good because it means your armor like my that much armor gains my attack power so it's quite beneficial but I wouldn't worry about it. So my abilities I have. So general, I don't have anything there. Nope, just auto shoot. In arms where I got rend, rank three, that can increase obviously. Assassination, just eviscerate for now. I will be going into more like rupture and rupture, slice and dice. That's pretty much it. Maybe maybe end venom, depending on how I feel, but that's level 62, so not right now. Maybe kidney shot as well, just to stun a target might be helpful. Beastmaster is just the full pet, the full tame pet thing, and then eventually mend pet and maybe an aspect of something. But right now, that's all I've got. Combat is just Sinister Strike. Enhancements, Ghost Wolf, and Rock Bite or Weapon. It's just Seal of righteous Righteousness. But I will be changing to Seal of Command. Because all melee auto attacks deal 28 to 37 additional holy damage to the target and up to additional two additional targets last 30 minutes. Relation to Seal's energy will judge an enemy instantly causing 37 to 42 holy damage. That's a little bit better than that. Because granting each melee attack additional 8 holy damage. But the leash is a little bit higher. But it could benefit my damage. But obviously, I'm not particularly sure right now. And then then Marksman, Arcane Shot, Auto Shot and Servant Stay now. On Beta, this is the big change, the main change, is I didn't have Arcane Shot. So I could, I didn't reset my damage after going to a dungeon, just 
just to prove that arcane shot is beneficial 16 for a thousand damage so instead of not going anything i recommend going auto shoot arcane serpent sting so the way you want to build it up, as I'll probably put a thing on the page here, is you, level one, you want to buy dual wield, and then you can put the sword and dagger you get instantly, straight up. And then you want to get, you probably want to get auto shot, arcane shot, and then save up for a pet. So that should be dual wield, auto shot, and then arcane shot, which comes to five. Save it for a pet to ten, then get serpent sting at level twelve. Then fourteen, you want to get sinister strike, or mongo spike, depending on how you want to play. But then at uh, sixteen, whichever one you didn't get, you want to get the other one, if that makes sense. So if you got Mongo Spite, you get Sinister Strike at 16. But if you got Sinister Strike, you get Mongo Spite at 16 from 14. Then 18, I recommend getting Rend or get Rend before anything else. So go Rend, Sinister Strike, then Mongo Spite. And you can switch Sinister Strike and Mongo Spite depending on how you play. But you do have Strike already. And you've also got Quick Shot and Arcane Bolt. So it's perfectly all right to not have tons of abilities at 20. Then 18 to 20, you'll save up for Ghost Wolf. And then for the rest of them, you want to kind of spend them on these buffs as they help with dungeons. So Blessing of Might, Rock Biter, and Seal of Righteousness. Um, I recommend going for Rock Biter first, then seal and then blessing because blessing in dungeons is quite commonly picked up so a lot of people will have it already so it's not that much of an issue and then you want to get eviscerate as well it's not a definite thing to get but it's quite easy to a degree and that's essentially it from what i can see unless i've missed one i don't think i have no nope i haven't so yeah that's adjustment to the builds just adding arcane shot you lose out on melee abilities but it's a very strong ability so yeah so thanks for watching guys remember to hit like and subscribe and support my patreon and check out all my links down below and thank you for subbing and liking my videos and watching especially even if you've watched two minutes of an eight minute video that's fine as long as you've got what you wanted to get so thanks for watching i'll see you next time for another reception video goodbye goodbye